this video, we're going to format our invoices table to make sure we're pulling in all the data that we need to generate our invoices. So to start, we generated this just blank invoices table in a previous video. We're going to delete a few of these fields and kind of start from scratch with our own fields. And in this first field, we're going to customize this field type to be invoice ID. And we'll just leave it as a single line text for now. We're going to change it to a formula field later, but we need to add in our other subsequent fields before we do that. So this is going to be our invoice ID. And next we're going to link our clients table. So we're going to link to our clients table and this will be clients, or client. And we'll create that field here. And we're also going to need to link to our design projects table and our task table. So let's go with design projects. And our tasks. So we'll be able to pull in data into our invoice from any of the other tables in our base now. Let's add a lookup field for contact name. So this is going to be our lookup. And this is going to come from our client table. And this will be our billing contact. And we're also going to pull in our client's logo in another lookup field. Oops. And next we're going to want to add a rollup field for our invoice total. So we want to use a rollup field because one client could have multiple tasks associated with their project and the rollup field will allow us to automatically add all of those together as separate billing items into a single invoice. So we'll call this invoice total. And this is going to be a rollup field. And we're going to get this from our tasks. And we're going to roll up the invoice amounts and we're just going to do a sum of those values. So sum together the values of those invoice amounts. Great, so now we have our invoice total added as well. And next we're going to need to add a field for invoice number. We'll just add that invoice number and we want this to be a auto number field because we want it to increment automatically with each new invoice. So our auto number field is down here at the bottom. Airtable has made it pretty convenient for us. So these are automatically going to increment as a unique counter for each record. And just a note here, if you do delete a record that will still be counted in the auto count. So for instance, this generic table came with three rows or three records. If I then now delete this row just by selecting it or right clicking and delete this record, right? So now we can see we still have invoices number one and two, but if I now go to add a new invoice, it's going to be invoice number four. So it takes into account any rows that you delete. So just keep that in mind as an auto increment field. And last, we just need to add a couple of date fields. So one for our invoice date and one for our invoice due date. So we'll just scroll over to the right here. So we'll have our invoice date as our date field. Oh, I'll get past it. And that format is fine. And then our invoice due date is actually going to be a roll up field as well because we want to take into account the billing terms that we set up in a previous video for the client. So let's do our roll up here. 
and we are going to reference our client table and we're going to reference our billing terms in days. I'm just going to copy in our formula here, which is just our invoice state, that max value adding the billing terms to that value. So we'll create that field. It's going to give us an error for now because we don't have an invoice due date, nor do we have any clients associated with any of these records yet to start. So before we add in some of that data into our table so that we can see everything in action, let's just scroll back over here to our invoice ID field that we set up previously earlier in this video. And now we're going to make this a formula field. Now that we have the other fields in our table, we'll be able to reference them. So this is going to be a formula field. What we want the invoice ID to pull in is the auto invoice number, the auto incremented uh, invoice number, as well as the client and the task. So I'm just going to copy in that formula and we'll just paste that in. And I believe we have client instead of clients and we'll save here and then we have our tasks. So as you can see, we have the one for the invoice number, the auto increment, and then we have our four down here because we deleted that one record and then added it back in. And then we have a dash and dash. And so we'll add in some data now so we can see everything in action. Just scroll over, yes. So this was client instead of clients. So this formula is accurate. So let's head on over to our design projects table. And the project that we'll work with for now is going to be our engineer U project that was already built into the project tracker when we downloaded it as a template or uh, imported as a template. So the engineer U brand identity, that's the demo kind of data we're going to work with for now. So we have engineer U, we've given it a few tasks. So the market research, initial proposal, those have all been done. And we have $150 as our project hourly rate. And let's just clean this up a little bit. So invoices was an old field. So we'll delete that. And then we're just going to rename this to invoices. Perfect. So now this is connected to our invoices table here. And that's what we're going to work with. So if now we go back to our tasks. We just want to make sure that our engineer U. So again, we're just going to clean this up a little bit. I had to remake the invoices table. And so it's pulling in our old table. And we just want to make sure that's referencing the correct invoices table. Perfect. So that's good to go. And our design project. So we have the market research initial proposal and prototypes for engineer U. We have our billable hours and our hourly rate and these would be the invoice amounts. So let's just add in those invoices. So we're going to go with invoice number one for each of these. So we're going to essentially group these tasks into a single invoice that so we're charging them for the market research, initial proposal, and prototypes all in one invoice. Great, and if we head on over to clients here, We can see that in engineer U, we have added some demo data in here already. So we have our bill to, our bill from, our payment information, a billing contact, and our billing email. And all of these are just click in to edit uh, those details for each contact as you add a new contact. And we'll just, again, clean up our invoices table here. So we'll delete that field. And again, this is going to be invoices. So we'll save that. And we're going to add that invoice to this client. So it's going to be invoice number one. So now we've added that invoice to our client here. And if we head over into our invoices table, we should be able to now see that invoice one is for engineer U. We have our engineer U client, our design project. We can double click in here. and it's our engineer U brand identity. We have our tasks, our billing info, our logo, our invoice total is adding all those tasks together, which is great. We have our invoice number, and then we still have an error for this due date because we haven't given an invoice date. So let's just select 
today for now. And now we can see our invoice due date is in 30 days. Great, so that is looking great. And that is how the invoice table gets auto-populated with those details once they're added to each table. So just as a quick kind of reference, let's add a completely new uh, client and project. And you can see how this will all work together as well. So let's head on over to our design projects. We'll add that our agency is gonna develop a no-code app. And we should be able to do most of what we need to do just from this single design projects screen because all of our tables are linked here. So we'll give it a category and we're going to add a new client. And this client is going to be fit with friends. So this is going to be a no code fitness app where friends and family can work out together uh, virtually. So that's what that's about. We can add our bill to here. So let's add and our agency. Payment information will be the same as what we had in the kind of demo data. So we'll just copy that in here. And our billing contact will be Jane Quick. And let's set our billing terms to 60 days this time. And we're going to link this to invoice number two because we already have that line item there, so you might as well use it. Perfect. So we have our Fit with Friends client, and now we can just assign a few tasks. So let's just scroll on over here into our. Well, first we'll give a project hourly rate of $150 to our Fit with Friends client, and then we can assign a couple tasks. So maybe we've just done the market research for this client. We haven't done anything else yet. And again, we'll assign this to invoice number two. And if we head on over to our task tab, just to make sure. Oh, I actually don't want to assign the market research. We want to give it a new task. So we're going to delete that. We want to make it a specific task to the project. So we're actually going to give it a new task. And this will be, it will still be market research, but it's specifically for fit with friends. Great. And we don't have any subtasks, but our design project is at the bottom here, our no code app. And we could put our time estimate of one day. And let's say we did seven hours as our billable hours here for this task. And we have our hourly rate and we can see our invoice amount is automatically calculated on that seven times the $150. And we'll just add this to invoice number two. Great, so if we head back over to our invoices table, now we can see that we have that invoice number two, our client design projects and tasks are all there. We don't have a logo yet for this client, but our invoice total is also there. We have auto incremented our invoice number. And if we select today as our invoice date, then we can see that our due date will be instead of 30 days, it will be 60 days away. Great, so now we can see how straightforward it would be to add new clients and projects to your tracker. In the next video, we'll look at using the designer block to create our auto-generated invoice PDFs.